Well, hey there, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Halo Spark Forge Network and another rad HSFN spotlight. We're going to take a look at another super rad creation straight from the Halo 5 Forge community. Another remake of An Ancient City by Ricardo Tino. We've seen him not too long ago with another city from the Mayans. This is one from the Aztecs. It's Tenochtitlan, and I probably messed up the pronunciation of that. The capital of the ancient Aztec Empire, which now lays buried underneath what is now Mexico City. A fantastic, fantastic recreation of one of South America's most important cities. Well, I guess North America, ancient cities. Um, and uh, yeah, I've messed this up quite enough for now. So let's go ahead and we are going to jump into our camera and we're gonna take a look around this phenomenal map that can be played for big team battle, super fiesta, or whatever you are in the mood for. He has done a great job sculpting out a huge symmetrical ancient temple map that is rather vast, rather big, and will cater to very large custom games. And uh, if you could come up with a game type to match, I think uh, it would go over really well with Mr. Ricardo Tino. Um, he's gone all out as far as making sure these decorations all match. Everything looks uh, universal and uh authentic actually uh you can't really sculpt out too many aztec type shapes uh, or mayan shapes from uh the forge blocks but he manages to do a great job nonetheless each and every time all the pyramids are super rad and you might notice that that is a pretty steep incline on those stairs but he does have lifters to help the players get to the top when needed so you can get up there and get the goodies that might be awaiting you up high there are various spots around the map as you can hear with music laid in so i'm not going to spend too much time there per uh the copyright issues with the halo 5 guardian soundtrack uh symmetrical on both sides obviously i already said that with uh, a big tower in the center on one side ghost in the middle to keep you busy a couple more vehicles probably wouldn't hurt a binary rifle and on the opposite temple is the overshield way up here making it super vulnerable to try and I'm guessing you could probably clamber your way up maybe somehow up the back ledges I'm not quite sure it doesn't look like it actually it might be a little too high all the temples look great uh, especially the center one there um, he's made the podium down below with the stage and the stairs and everything really really seems to come together to form a really solid looking architectural piece and uh, I'm not an expert on uh, this part of history per se too too much I do know a little bit but I can't say uh, how accurate and thorough um, the layout is in compared to the actual ruins but Ricardo's from there he's been there and uh, this is kind of his thing so I'm gonna go ahead and take his word on it that this is pretty much the layout that the ancient city had at its time or at least the main, pl main plaza area I believe at one point in time this city was the first in the world to have a million people in it um, so it was quite an extraordinary site in the ancient times, and there wasn't many cities like it. And uh, I'm really thrilled to see Ricardo just taking steps to uh, reforge these uh, places from our history and our past. Um, it's one of the better things Forge can be used for. It's just a creative tool to have fun with and design things. And uh, he's really taking it to uh, his own personal next level here, making these rad features and uh we're gonna jump back into our spartan real quick and uh we'll run around for a second so you can kind of see the size of some of these temples and uh they are pretty massive and pretty rad and uh, i'll show you how the stairs work here uh, i'll test the vehicle if that comes up there later but as you get to here it's gonna lift you up you'll be able to get up there pretty easily and grab that weapon and hold out as you can see we're looking at you know a super fiesta kind of fun times map with you and your pals nothing super over competitive but there is ctf available on here so you can give it a shot 8v8 It'll work fine and uh put some in the comments below how it worked out for you guys uh anything over there is going to be death so don't try it's going to be the outside wall he's pretty much out of blocks so he can't build that outside wall up very very much higher so that's a good idea to just block it off like that and at least the player knows where the map is going to end Here and we got the suppressor and the ghost is going to be pretty useful in these open squares. Really be able to run some people over as they make their way from one side of the plaza to the other. I do like that you stuck with authenticity and realism here and didn't put lazy cover in the center, although some people may complain about those open uh, walkways. Keep in mind, you know, that's pretty much how ancient cities were laid out with plazas and wide 
because uh, everybody walked. We didn't have cars. We walked and gathered places in order to hear announcements, hear the, the king speak, and otherwise, oh, there, there are a lot of flat areas in old. Nice little holdout area here on the corner. Gives your team a little cover, and a couple more vehicles are available. As you can see, we got a mongoose, and we have the warthog there. So more than just a ghost, as I thought at first. And uh, the opposite side should match that accordingly. We'll go over here and double check. But I believe we, uh, he does have both vehicles available on both sides for both teams. So a rad job nonetheless. These side areas, these towers, are going to, I believe, hold the flags for each of the teams. Red and blue would be the colors. And, uh, a couple more goodies laying around. Nice DMR. That's about it. It looks like his weapon timers are set to two minutes, so we should have no issues there if you're worried about it being on the map too long. And uh, back out to the middle of these side pyramids here. I don't believe we'll offer much but a power up our weapon in the top center and a little area for the snipers to play around in. Nice little slow lift to get you to the top there, so keep in mind you're going to be a little vulnerable as you make your way up there if I can do it. Come on, Brewski. Aha! And so a little tricky can be adjusted. I'm sure he's gonna watch this and he will fix that. So that it is perfectly smooth like a baby's bottom and we'll have no problems whatsoever. Let's see if you can trick jump it from ledge to ledge so you can. Grenades in the next one. I imagine a storm rifle grenades are gonna be on the opposite side as well. And as stated, the uh, binary rifle down there in the center. Back plaza era is pretty open ended. So keep that in mind before you try to run your way through here. It's going to lead around the back of the tower. I do not think you'll be able to clamor, judging from the height. And then the front side of the tower should lead you all the way up to that glorious overshield. Awaiting you at the top, maybe? No! Come on, Halo! Oh, it's bad. There we go. Alright, well issues there but i'm sure we'll work that out and there's probably a smoother way for me to be doing that rad job nonetheless though mr ricardo tino i'm gonna put a link below if you guys want to take some rad screenshots do some machines or try this in your next big team battle game or maybe a 16 player free-for-all or daisy game type with super fiesta rules might be a lot of fun as well but a rad job nonetheless and a great creation from the halo 5 community keep it up buddy i enjoy all of your content I can't wait for the, either the next ancient South American, American, North American city and or racetrack. But I'm sure we're going to see more from Ricardo Tino soon. You can check him out on YouTube, Ricardo Karts, and his link should be below in the HSFN channels. We'll see you guys next time with some more creations from the Halo 5 Forge community.